What's up, Yak Slappers? Today we're going to talk about how to avoid conflicts when you're uh, installing Windows 10 on the HP ProLiant um, DL380. This is a killer server. I mean, if you would have told me, hey, you're going to get a server for 40 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace and uh, it's going to be uh, an awesome dual Xeon server, I would have said, yeah, forget you, you don't know what you're talking about. But today, we're going to talk about that server, and we're going to talk about how to get it installed. So, hey, this is Yakslap. Um, this is a tech blog. We're all about helping you avoid those conflicts and problems that you would normally have um, when you're ready to do something that you want to do. Some people call that yak shaving, which means shaving an animal that has no reason to be shaved. And that's what it feels like sometimes when you're fighting with something in a tech and servers and code that you really feel like you shouldn't be fighting with at all. So what's the TLDR? Windows 10 Pro is not officially supported on the DL380, so you should find and install the most recent driver for the storage controller. All right? Jumping in, um, dual Xeons with 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, yeah, I found an old server on uh, Facebook Marketplace. for It was like 40 bucks. And I was like, hey, this is killer. Dual Xeons. I've been watching all sorts of cool um, YouTube videos about using dual Xeon processors. One of the killer um, examples is Tech Yes City. Um, great, great um, YouTube uh, channel to check out. And he's been going about uh, why dual Xeons are great in 2019. Um, so, hey, let's get Windows 10 installed. Um, if you have a bootable Windows 10 installer media, you're going to have to either A, use a dual layer burn DVD drive or a bootable USB drive, uh, but there's one key step. you got to get that compatible driver for your storage controller. That's really all you need. Um, a word of caution, word of caution. So ProLiant servers, they have this killer thing called ILO2 or ILO1, and it's called integrated lights out. And if you're unfamiliar with servers, it's actually a completely different serial or Ethernet port on the back of the server. And the killer thing is that Ethernet port or that serial port, it connects to almost kind of like a second operating system. And so if your server is powered down, this actual integrated lights out component can power your server up. It can look at your server. It can even, I believe, install software. And so it's got a killer utility that normally would walk you through all the steps to install the cool stuff like uh, Windows 10 or um, other different stuff. I'm going to get some music going here. But because Windows 10 Pro, um, you need Pro because that's dual processor enabled, um, you can't use that cool integrated lights out experience because they have no firmware that's updated for Windows 10. So before the install, um, you got to find the latest driver. So for me, I had a, uh, an HP 400 Smart Array um, card. Now this is a, a SAS and SATA card um, that was already plugged in, and I went all through the HP Enterprise site, um, different uh, forums looking for a storage driver for that um, storage card, and I eventually compared the release dates until I found the release date that was almost 2015. So basically, um, it was after 2015, which was the release date of Windows 10. So most of HP's drivers are ex executables. This is really key. Now, they're just executable. So you have to double click and then um, unpack them. Um, and so I formatted a drive in NTFS, I loaded a bunch of drivers, and uh, as you're installing Windows 10, you'll go through a couple different steps, choose your language, choose your keyboard, and eventually you'll be at that screen that talks about, hey, like, let's choose a partition, let's choose, um, uh, you know, what disk you want to install on. But of course, my um, SSD drive that I had installed, it wasn't showing up because I got an error saying Windows 10 couldn't find any usable or... Uh, usable storage mediums, I think, installed. Um, so uh, eventually, once I um, put in my Windows 10 USB formatted drive, went through all that, eventually Windows 10 said, hey, I can't find a suitable driver. Click Browse to load a suitable driver. I think it was Browse. So I clicked Browse, unplugged the USB drive, plugged a different USB drive in, and that had just a directory of all the extracted executables that had drivers for it. Um, I have a 120 gig um, Kingston SSD. Um, really any one, any SSD would be fine. Um, the Samsung Evo series, obviously they're a, a killer option, um, you know, if you ever need one. And uh, if you want, 
I'll give you a really quick uh, Amazon link. Again, uh, well, I guess I haven't mentioned this before, but uh, you know, if you use my referrals, anything here, it um, it get, comes back to me. So if you go to Amazon, so that's a m z n dot t o slash thirty one capital S R T M T that will give you the option of installing uh, or sorry, buying that Samsung Evo quick tip. So I bought a 120 gig um, SSD drive. And one of the ways that they're making a lot of the newer SSD drives faster is they'll basically just take, I think it's a 64 or a 120 gig chip and they'll just replicate that chip. So essentially you're getting four different chips that all can be written to and read from at the same time. So usually if you're buying a larger SSD drive, you're gonna get uh, much higher performance. All that to say, um, now the DL380, it's humming loudly, like freaking loudly, um, after Windows 10 was installed. It's not as snappy as I thought. It's got dual quad Xeons, and they're, uh, I believe they're 2.3, 64 gigs of RAM, and an SSD, but it's, not that insanely fast. So I'll get back with uh, benchmarks when I've got them. I did run some quick examples um, for uh, uh, like uh, what I'm compared to other machines as far as with uh, Blender. And it wasn't that amazing. I mean, Blender runs nice, I'll say that, but it's not screaming. I'm using uh, just an older, uh, what was it? A NVIDIA GE4 750 Ti. Uh, I think it's two gigs. So just FYI, big TLDR. Um, if you want to install Windows 10 Pro or whatever on the ProLiant DL380, this is a Gen 5, but it'll be probably pretty much the same for any other ones. You've got to install the driver, storage driver, look in your BIOS, find out what storage card you've got. I had the, uh, I think it was the P400 um, HP Smart Array. Um, get the driver for that, and then you should be good to go. All right. If you want to check out any more of these, uh, um, my blog posts, I'm all about helping other people save time. It's yak, Y-A-K dot me and you is dot U-S. And uh, if you're interested in getting one of those, uh, one of these um, servers, you can go to this link here, um, amazon.to, and then there's that short link. Again, I'll get um, some affiliate kickback if you want to support my channel. Um, don't like and subscribe because I rarely post stuff. I'm just here to help other people um, not make tech mistakes. So, all right. Talk to you later.